Jab, 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 keep jabbing. Jab. Drop the jabs. Always oh, jabs. Always oh, jabs. The jabs. I'm gonna pick what up these nettles doing? though. For God's sake. Stop. Whoa! Hello one and all, Mickey here, Surviving RNG, and welcome to Kingdom Come Deliverance. We're going to be going through this game in Iron Man, which means that when Dobie faced Henry dies, it's back to the beginning of the game. And the only other caveat to the difficulty there'll be is not to use any polearm class weapons, because they get kind of really broken overpowered very quickly. And there is only one difficulty to this game, and that is what a lot of people would consider hardcore, where you can die very quickly. Some injuries can be permanent until you sleep them off or pay to get them healed. You need to eat and sleep and wash. Your items get damaged very easily easily. But you know what? That's all default Kingdom Come Deliverance. But as I said, all we're going to be doing is Iron Man, Permadeath, and no pole arms because they make combat broken, even against multiple opponents. So let's get started. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour, blue-blooded idler. It looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. Go and get the lazy bones up then. <laughs> Quick clout round the ear should do it. Henry! Get up now. There's work to be done. <sighs> get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger bed. <laughs> Hear that? You'd better not vex him. <sighs> now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. <sighs> Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? Maybe. You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. <sighs> you know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Hmm, well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. <sighs> A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? What did I get up to last night? Well, we're gonna need definitely some strength because I want to be able to use that merchant sword. So we'll go with that. Working at the forge. I was sweating in the forge all day yesterday and then I was helping Fritz and Matthew with some errands. So I'd say I have a right to be a bit tired. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand and that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. And also, I want some vitality because that is connected to our stamina. And not to mention, endurance in an Iron Man mode would probably be a good idea. So yeah, I, I was with Bianca last night. Bianca! Bianca! Do you want to blow by blow by blow by blow account of everything we did? Ha! <laughs> What's this, an interrogation? Alright, alright. Sorry, son. It's just that I worry about you. Thanks, Ma, but I'm not four years old. I know, Hal. You've grown up in front of my eyes. It's hard to get used to it. So, have my friends been here? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. They're not drunks. They just enjoy not having money. I never said they were, did I? And if I really minded you going for a beer with them, I'd have put a stop to it long ago. I was young once too, you know. And your father was no angel when he was in Kuttenberg. For example? Blow by blow by blow by blow... <laughs> You don't believe me? Ask him yourself. All right, I will. You're not a boy anymore, Henry. You're a man, and it's time to start acting like one. Why blow, why blow? Yesterday, you promised your father you'd help at the forge. Mm. If you made yourself useful now and then, I wouldn't mind your mischief making so much. Speaking of useful, I'm hungry. Feed me. I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Is Papa angry with me? He's not happy. Yesterday, you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Sir Radzik. Mm. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain, but he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Do you need any help? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. 
It's your father needs helping with that sword. Mm. Okay then. What is it? What? What? Again? Already? First thing any NPC says about I can move. Tell me to get out of the way. This game. Let's grab this food. I, I can't grab food while sitting. Okay then. That is fine. Grab all the food. And kitchen table looted. Chest. Sure, we'll take everything there is here. And a few of you guys mentioned in the comments that this chest is a player-owned chest. It may not be connected to all the other chests in, like, the inns and the properties that we can sleep in. But anything we put in this chest won't get refreshed and we'll lose it. Unlike through here, this chest. If we unlock it and put anything in here, we will lose it. And actually, can we, can we, can we just take everything here? Okay, pantry looted. I don't know why it's saying steal because, you know, I, I live here. So although my parents aren't going to be happy, I should be able to take food from my own house without the game considering it stealing. Now, off to explore town. Sure, we'll have something to eat here. This food is infinite, although you can only eat from it once a day. An NPC will come over and refill it, and it gives you 25 hunger each time you eat. And that is all we need. Well, let's go talk to our papa. Actually, maybe we should bathe as well. Oh, no, we're clean. Well, as clean as you could be in this nasty-ass town. No offense, Dad. Papa! What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling you? Mm. I did, but I was looting. So here is the dialogue system. All the dialogue choices you make are affected by your speech skill, but each of these are determined by other stats. For example, how you're dressed, how clean you are. Aggressive depends on your strength stat. This option, can't remember what it's called, depends on how fancy you look. And the last depends on how friendly you are with the person you're talking to, which apparently I'm not friendly with my dad. Really? Yeah, I, I just wanted to have a look around. No, I had something to do, I was looting, sorry. Well, it's no great tragedy. Anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? Not drunkard? <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his blow by blow by blow. Fun times. We'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasso. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Bianca. Yeah, nothing bad's happened right. to her. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. But your beer will have to. Okay, charcoal, cross guard, money, and booze. Sounds like a Tuesday. Guys, I, I need the, the sword thing, my Bobby. Hello. Got be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzig, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and grip. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Damn straight. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Later, taters. So that is one thing off the list. Hey, random peasant. Doesn't want to talk to me? Cool. Now, what do I do first? Let's go talk to the swordsman, I think. Hey, Pip. You. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except Mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live blow by blow by blow. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Foreshadowing. Looking like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Let's go. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Go and do that. You'll be over there somewhere. I need to go beat up a drunk. Where the hell is he? Oh, here he is. 
So there are a few ways we can do this. Potentially if we had a high enough speech we can convince him. Or we can just steal it from him. Or we can just beat him up. So let's go do that. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? My stuff. Papa sent me for the money. I've got nothing. Clear off. Can't you at least pay for the tools? You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep- <coughs> At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you- <coughs> Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Wow, real, real friendly. Debts must be paid in coin, or they get paid in blood. Look, I know things aren't easy. Your wife ran off, booze is dear these days. Oh, wow. You're as much use as a square wheel. Nice way to convince it's him. No wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt. And I can't leave here without something. You son of a... How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Okay then, time to fight. <laughs> whoa, 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 easy. Okay. <laughs> jab, jab, keep punching. <laughs> and then back off. Marka. And jab. Okay, no, mine is just gonna dodge it all. So when it comes to punching, typically the best thing to do is just a jab repeatedly. Until their guard breaks. Unfortunately, my stamina's not that great right now, because I've just started out. But that is a okay. Let's go in again. Whoa! Oh man, I punched slowly. Really slowly. There you go. Get a few hits in. There it is. Bloody hell. Back off easy. Give up? Keep jabbing him! Jab! Jab! There you go. Enough! Enough! I give up! Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? Oh, it's too bad. Maybe you should have paid us back. Let's take this. Thank you very much. Go in here. And let's take whatever he owns that isn't stealing. He, he kind of doesn't really have anything. Starting to feel bad now. Chest there that we can't get to. So yeah, when it comes to fist fighting, all you really need to do is jab. It doesn't take long until you get to a point in the game where just jabbing, right-clicking over and over again is enough to win pretty much any fight. And we could do with a bit more to eat. So we'll eat his food as well, because robbing him isn't enough. Key on the chest and take all this stuff. Axe, hammer, and nails. Okay, now we can go sell that stuff and get a bit of money. Hey, buddy. Feeling good? All right, blacksmith's boy. You got the better of me. Yeah, take I Take what you want, but I you haven't already. heard the last of this. Yeah, well, we'll see. It's gonna happen that way one way or another, buddy. Now, time for a sword fight. Okay, here we are. So, can we get started? Let's do it. We can. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. You haven't really taught me anything. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. What else? All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Slashing, you say? <sighs> no. <sighs> Good. <sighs> so as he was saying, if you lean into the <sighs> swing, as in you move, move forward <sighh> and you attack, you actually deal more damage, which is why attacks from... Stabbing. Go on then, buddy. Tried a few times. Attacks from horseback do a lot of damage because you're moving forward so quickly. Stab. <sighs> Stab. <sighs> no. Stab. <sighs> Not bad. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Where, where am I going to attack, buddy? Where am I going to attack? Who knows? All right. Very good. Not bad. Good. What's okay. All right, that's enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired and thirsty. Remember, though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. 
Well... You have to work and work, and the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. Maybe not Master Swordsman, but I can do a few things before nightfall. And now, I'm gonna very, very quickly loot the town of this nettle. So, be right back. Whoops. You can't be serious, Deutsch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he mm. had. I had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts. Traitors. Now even the Pope God be with is you, opposed Henry. to your king. I'm with you, so Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsche spouting What? And Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. Mm. Wow. Who do I care about? That's someone you. Austrians. And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander in chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this he would have you whipped like a dog your deal will soon have nothing left to rule jobs had to sell luxembourg to help your king south bohemia is with sigismund and don't and forget about kutenberg where germans like you kissed sigismund's feet to keep their heads yes but goodman deutsch this is pointless let us talk of more pleasant things my words exactly yeah exactly that's kind of boring deutsch has gone too far Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Throw crap at house. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson, doesn't he, Fritz? Too I Matthew. You should give him a proper hiding. <sighs> Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such... Scream! It made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know... The one right next to his freshly whitewashed house? You think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather torch it to be honest. But Wow. Don't think Sirs will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for a father and a, a few other things. I was also picking nettles! We're finishing Saratic's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not gonna take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So how? Are you with us? Or against us? I'll do it because honestly it doesn't really make any difference. What happens to what's his face, the guy that we're going to throw crap at his house? His response later in the tutorial is going to be exactly the same. Your doubt response, whether you do it or not, is going to be exactly the same. So honestly, what difference does it make? I would gladly not do it if it made an impact on the game. But yeah, sure, why not? Let's go throw some crap. But you know, first I need to go sell some nettles. Father can wait a while. <laughs> My words exactly. I knew you wouldn't miss out on all the fun. Let's go. I'm not ready yet, so you have to wait. Okay, okay, I'm done. My hands are itchy and bleeding. I'm sure Henry's hands aren't doing too good either. I've weeded half of town. Now, please, somebody buy it from me. It's making my pockets itchy. We have nearly a thousand stinging nettles. <laughs> uh, is Henry going to be called Henry the Idiot or Henry the Genius? I would imagine it would be the prior, especially if we can't find somebody to sell this to. Hey, buddy, do you want to buy some stinging nettles? I'll hook you up. My God, what happened to you? You look like you've been assaulted. You should see the other guy. Oh, thank God. We can sell the stinging nettles. Okay, sell it all. How much do you want for it? Oh, actually, he doesn't have enough to give us, really? Okay, well, we need 10 charcoal. So let's grab that. And boom, done. Close this deal. 250 stinging nettles for 20 gold after buying 10 charcoal. You know what? Sure. We're not even going to haggle. I can't. I honestly can't be bothered. I really can't. If you had more money, I would, but let's just close the deal. Okay, still moving really slowly. Does anybody want any stinging nettles? I should line up with those merchants over there. Hey, 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 do you, do you want stinging nettles, please? Buy them off me. Oh, God, she wants to buy them. And she has 80 gold. Yes. Oh, thank God. Okay, let's sell all of this crap. Not the charcoal, though. We kind of need that. The nails, the hammer, the axe. And perfect. Exactly at 80 gold. Although, let's take the axe back and try to haggle, because this is worth it. 
I'd like to discuss the blow by blow. Sure, why not? Yeah, I'd like to get more for my stinging nettles that I spent the past hour picking up. So I would like you to give me 80 gold for it. So. I'd almost shake on that. Ah. Uh, almost. Final offer. Aye, that would do it. Done. Oh man, finally, the stinging nettles are gone. Oh god, so much better. Function. Stop talking. Oh, I can't sell you the axe. Okay, what about you? Good health to you. Okay, you I can sell it to, and also all of our food. Let's do that. You got 20 gold, cool. The axe, not the onions, because they actually heal you. Lentil soup, cheese, rolls, bread. And honestly, we don't need 50 apples, although they all heal for one. So let's sell the more expensive stuff, like the beet. Cabbage, carrots. Oh, that's over. Hmm. Take these back. And a cabbage. Cool. Dumb. And I want a haggle. Sure. Give me 20 gold for it. What do you say to this? Close. Are you You're kidding me? I'll go for that. He wouldn't haggle at all. I'm so upset. So upset. What about you? Do you want to buy some food that I stole from my well, house? We... Sell the beet, cabbage, the onions, and we're going to sell 22 apples, leaving us with 30. That will heal us for 60 health, slowly. So, yeah, sure, that'll do. And at this point, I really can't bother to haggle. Close deal. Okay. And now I've got 130 gold. You know what? Not bad. Really not bad. Let's go throw some crap to celebrate. Here we are. Oh no, there are stinging nettles, guys. There are stinging nettles there. Don't loot them. Don't loot them. So are we doing this or not? Wait, we have to check that the coast is clear. Why? The Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Wow. Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. You're yeah. the ugly one. You. God. You are a moron. Let me just climb over this crap to get to her. Hey, um, ignore my friends staring at your house here. You need to leave. What do you want, lad? Yeah, your husband's a bit of a dick, really. I just went by the tavern, and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right, and King Wenceslas is a drunkard. That sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty! The fool! Next thing he'll start on about the Popes! He might have mentioned the Popes, too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. Don't worry, there'll be a fight waiting for him at home. Should we do this? Do, do you want to get started? Oh, sweet, nice. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun. <laughs> Real Nearly clean. as good as having that Real traitor clean. in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! Now a couple shit, of buckets of water you bastards! would wash that off and we what end up with What the fuck do you think you're doing? Hands. Thought it'd be clear! Hey Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Hans! I'll take those smites off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Spizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutsche? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion? Wow. <laughs> Keep aiming for the other guy. Nah. I'll make you pay for that! Okay then. <laughs> Let's get in there. Jab, 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 jab! Keep jabbing! <laughs> I'll play you, do our sword. <laughs> Murka. Jab! Go for the jabs! Always oh, jabs! Always oh, jabs! Always oh, jabs! Okay, no, he's down. The jabs! Ha! God, that's brutal! Henry, brutal! Go on, do it! Sweet ass! We we need to go now. I'm gonna pick what up these are nettles you doing? though. For God's sake! Stop! Whoa! Damn. Whoa! Not okay! What the hell are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? Punching his wife! What is wrong with you? Uh, so what's the plan now? We're just gonna run around the wall? Great plan. Outstanding plan, guys. Well done. I really am the brains of this operation. 
Okay, you know what? We're done. We're done. Okay, no more nettles. No more throwing crap. No more punching wives. May the Lord watch over you, Henry. You two. So you didn't have lockpicks, did you? No, you didn't. And I had nothing left to sell. Although I did end up with crap all over my clothes. Yeah, that'll happen, I suppose. You know what? Let's get that ale. Give it to Father. And get out of this crap-covered town. Anything to say? Nope. Yanka! God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Ignore the smell. Well, obviously you do. Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honoured as any simple maid can be. And, apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? Yeah, the Dutch is saying stupid things, but we, we took care of him, don't worry about the it. Deutsch is mouthing off again. Oh, don't talk to me about him. He's a good customer, but when it comes to politics, he's unbearable. The number of times I had to throw him and the others out so they wouldn't start brawling. Well, I'd say he's an exceptional forum today. Ha! <laughs> really? After we jabbed him to death? Let's get that pitcher. I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Copy Out of that. the question. Here you go. And this evening, I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty-looking fellow was asking after you. Vanyak? I suppose. Already he's a him. man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Yeah, you upset me. I'm How? leaving. I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favourite. Savour your schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. Okay. I'll go with you, Henry. Thank you, Bianca. Eight saviour snaps. Where the hell did we get the rest of them? Where did we get the rest of them? I don't remember having that many. Oh, well, we've got everything. So, let's leave this place. Oh, hmm. I was going to play you, but I've kind of got the ale now. And if I don't get it to papa quickly, it'll get warm. Ah, oh, screw it. We've got like 120 gold or more. We don't need to play any dice games right now. Papa, I've got your ale. Here, what did you do in Gutenberg? Oh, all sorts. You had to be able to put your hand to anything if you wanted to make a living. Oh, really? But I was never far from iron. I'd like to see Kuttenberg sometime. I'll take you there one day, never fear. It's a beautiful city. But in the end, you'll learn the best places here by the Sasso. We've kind nobles, fertile land, and plenty of everything. And do you know Sir Radzig well? We've known each other long enough. Got those things you wanted? Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? Yep, yep. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master in Sassau did for us. Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Well, damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have you got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. Nope. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. You would have said that if I didn't did catch pole earlier. And it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologise to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you want a blow-by-blow-by-blow blow blow account of everything we did? Do you understand? I understand. I will clean it up Good. before the raid starts. And we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught making a fool of himself, and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and what? You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Pretty Remember, sure you Henry, can win an argument with if violence. you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. 
No, no, I'll, I'll stick to my fists and sword. The furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. Do it. Yeah, don't slip. Your hands are already Good. in the state. Once more. Nettles. That's it. Done. Now I'll file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. I don't know, maybe use some gloves. Might be a good idea. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles. Had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university. <gasps> and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. Not bad. Just don't hit metal on metal. Master blacksmith. Use a wooden block or something, my god. It's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. Hey, hey Terry. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. I already got them. Henry, are you alright? Uh, yes. Actually, you know what? I could go play chess. <laughs> I could. Wait, 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 what? 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 Oh, I should probably clean up. Clean? Much better. At least my hands aren't covered in crap now. Hey, you Terry. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Bye, Terry. Fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. We did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Show off. Would you like to try it? Nice haircut, sir. So, what way. good is a sword to a commoner? Let him try it. Smooth. Real nice. Do you want to blow by blow by blow? <laughs> you still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work. Very fine. A sword such as this will bring honour to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. Thanks, random guy. I'm sure our paths will cross again. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sir, a long peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it like Sir Radzik said? Why? It could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. Both? You have to keep you going on both. about it. Blow by blow by blow. And you've no need to learn swordplay. Perfect timing. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened?
Now that is a bad guy. I know a bad guy when I see him. Time to run, maybe? Listen to me, Al. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry, what about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Redzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. seems more than a little unnecessary. I'm afraid we'll have to be next time guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let anybody else know if they enjoy it as well and we'll be back next time for more kingdom come deliverance iron man thank you very much for watching guys bye bye well this should be fun slaughtering a small army on horseback fun times i mean i could go down there and kill you i could i suppose but i'm not gonna god that is strong and that was normal shot three oh hello uh let me just Whoa! Jesus!